So I'm Rob Darnell, I'm the Director of Intelligence at Security Alliance, but importantly I'm also one of the Crest exam writers and one of the Crest assessors. So the next exam is the CRTIA, so that's the Crest Registered Threat Intelligence Analyst exam. So this is the next step up, this is the mid-level. So what we recommend here is probably about two years of experience before you can get to the sort of level uh, to cover off all of the, the knowledge bases within the exam. So this is slightly different to the previous exam. There are two stages. Effectively, we have the 120 multiple choice questions, which you need to achieve 70% in. And also there are, is one long form question, which again, you need to achieve 70% in. You need to achieve 70% in both exams. They're not aggregated in order to pass the exam. It's a closed book and it lasts for exactly three hours. So the registered exam builds on top of the practitioner exam. So all of those key concepts that we talked about in the practitioner exam, they are further enhanced, a bit broader and a bit more in depth as well. So where we were previously talking about the main concepts around the intelligence cycle um, and all of the different stages that are involved with that from direction all the way through to the dissemination and how you collect and do all of this um, safely, securely, ethically and legally, there's also two key areas which are new. The first one is management. So how would you manage these elements, not just actually perform them? And also there's a completely separate section now on technical and tactical level intelligence. So that's covering off IOCs and all of the different formats that support them.